urinary tract calculi are an important cause of acute abdominal pain. And therefore, it's vital that we're able to competently and confidently make the diagnosis. Because the majority of urinary tract calculi contain calcium, this means that they show up very well on CT scans. And therefore, CTKUB is the most commonly used first-line investigation in any patient with suspected urinary tract calculi. However, before we go on to look at CTKUBs, we first need to appreciate the three common locations where urinary tract calculi are found. The most common anatomical locations where urinary tract stones are found are at three points along the urinary tract, where the urinary tract becomes its most narrow. Starting superiorly, the first location is the pelvi-ureteric junction, or the PUJ, where the renal pelvis and the ureters meet. Then moving inferiorly, the next common location to find a stone is in the distal ureter at the point at which it narrows as it crosses the pelvic brim. The pelvic brim, as you can see, is the edge of the pelvic inlet and marks the opening into the lesser pelvis in which we find the urinary bladder. And the final common location for urinary tract stones to develop is at the point where the ureter enters the bladder, and we refer to this as the vesico ureteric junction, or VUJ. As these three locations are the most narrowed points of the urinary tract, it means that if stones do develop and are of large enough size to become lodged, then it's typically at these three points that they're going to do so. The main investigation we can use is CTKUB or a CT scan of the kidneys, ureters, and bladder. CTKUBs are a non-contrast enhanced CT scan, which means that they don't use any radio-opaque contrast. They are both highly sensitive and specific in demonstrating the presence of urinary tract stones, and this is why they are widely considered to be the first-line investigation in patients who present with presumed acute urinary tract calculi. An additional benefit of CTKUBs is that they can also reveal the presence of other pathologies, including appendicitis and a AAA. CTKUBs only involve a very small dose of radiation compared to other forms of CT imaging, and this means that their use may be considered in pregnant or pediatric patients. However, always be sure to review the policy of the hospital you're based in. As we mentioned, there are three common locations along the urinary tract where we tend to find urinary tract calculi. However, in some instances, we do find stones in other locations to the three we mentioned. As we can see in this CTKB, where we can identify a calculi that's lodged in the proximal to mid ureter. In this CT scan, if we focus on the left kidney, then we can see a pretty sizable and fairly obvious stone that's become lodged at the left pelvic ureteric junction, or PUJ, which as we discussed earlier, is one of the three common locations where we tend to find urinary tract stones that have become lodged. Now looking at this other CTKUB image, we can see the bladder sitting anteriorly and posterior to this, so positioned below it on the scan, we can see a urinary tract stone that's become lodged at the vesico ureteric junction, or VUJ. If you enjoyed watching this video, then make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great free content. Or, if you want to make sure you know what you need to know for med school, then subscribe to surgicalteaching.com for more great videos, learning forums, and MCQs.